Aww. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look really nice too. Oh, I do? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Y'all, we have such good and exciting oh news gosh. for you guys. Okay. No, wait, no, no, you can't tell them. It's gotta be a surprise. Let's just say we're partnering with YouTube to bring you guys something very, very special. Oh and we're giving a lot of it away. A lot. So To you, to you, to you, to okay. you. So make sure you keep your eyes out for the short that we post next week. June 22nd, guys, I promise you guys, this is our biggest, biggest announcement with YouTube, okay? Guys. And you guys are gonna have a chance to win it. Like, Yo. we signed up. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so, excited. this is unbelievable, guys. Make sure you guys tune in, we're super excited. And thank you guys so much for supporting us through this journey. I promise you, next week you'll see how much it paid off. Yeah, the girl that makes me feel so good. Mm. Cutie pie. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Mm. How's that chocolate? Mm, yeah. It's been four weeks. It's only been four weeks? Only? That's a long time for them. Y'all. That feels longer than that. It's Friday. We ain't got no job. Guess we got a lot of making up to do. Yeah. It's like we're here and then we're, we're gone. We've been seeing all the messages, the DMs. DMs. The comments under our reels and TikToks. Come back to YouTube. Come so back. guess what? We back. Baby, come back. You, you can, can blame, blame it all on me. Us. What's up, Neezy gang? How are you? She almost hit that car. <laughs> we are back on YouTube, and we really want you guys to know how much we appreciate you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, we wouldn't be here in this wild neighborhood without y'all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we don't want you to think that we neglected you, okay? Because we didn't neglect you at all. And I want I wanted to say that first before you thought that, you know? You know we love you first and foremost. First and foremost. We've just been having to take some time for ourselves, you know? Because yes. we can't be great for y'all if we're not great for ourselves. Exactly. we kind of been open about it and telling you guys about it. Life is life at the end of the day. And not it be life life. In. life. <laughs> it be life in. You know what I'm saying? You be saying a lot of words. <laughs> what do you mean? But it's like, what is she talking about? Life is life. You know, they know, Neezy Gang, because y'all been here for so many years. They know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. We have been trying to work on our relationship, right? And I feel like with couples, the difference between the couples that you probably see and us is that when we're going through, we're going through. We're going to say it, you know what I'm saying? But it's not going to be too much, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to let y'all know, like, all right, why we've been MIA or been absent. You know what I'm saying? Just so you have an understanding and like, all right, we know them. And you know what I'm saying? Some don't even say it at all. I feel like we just feel so close to y'all that we just want, I mean, we're just transparent. We want y'all to know what's going on. We've been trying different things for our relationship to help spice it up um, and get better with each other and within ourselves. I think it's going pretty good. I mean, yeah. we're still here. We're still, still here. We're still here. Still here. <laughs> Who would have thought, man? Who would have thought? I would have thought that we would have been normal people and have relationship problems. Yeah, I could never assume I mean, that. I mean, I would have assumed that. Like, yeah. We're, we're normal At the end of the day, we're normal people. It's yeah. like, no matter how we fell in love or how much we love each other or any of that, or yeah. having a YouTube channel together, we still have to take time for mm -hmm. ourselves. We'll tell you all of the things that we're doing to later, Yeah, you know, to try to get our relationship and our minds in like a healthier place. Yeah. But for now, let's get into this video. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're not new and you aren't subscribed, subscribe, guys. Bro. I have never seen a Trader Joe's this big. Like, we're not in the ghetto anymore. <laughs> Yo, we, we did never, it. Wait, Glendale was definitely not ghetto. Okay. Oh, so I'm talking about Keswick and Bradley. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I ain't know nothing ghetto. about Trader Joe's and Keswick. They yeah. didn't have nothing over there. That's when Nat lived in North Hollywood with her family. Like, yeah, it was the ghetto. You know, she didn't know it was the ghetto, though. You know, she didn't know. She moved out here. It's unexpected, right? I didn't. Yeah. I just saw the building online, and I was like, this looks nice. And it was get to, but I'm still grateful for my humble beginnings because I was able to exactly. afford to live out here yeah. due to it. And now look at you, because you were consistent, because you followed your dreams, we're at a bougie ass Trader Joe's. With beautiful flowers. Yes. Yeah. 
Wow, look at the picnic. <laughs> what do we have here, Nat Nat? A lot of different things okay. that we'll get into, but we have savory and sweet, oh. some juice, cocktails. Oh yeah, well, you look beautiful. Thank you, you look really nice too. Oh, I do? Yes. Thank you. I like okay. You like, okay, you know, maybe they can see the drip. You, come on here, let me show you. Look at the drip. Sheesh. It's a little drippy. It's okay. Does this match my drip? Aww. Flowers? Are those for me? I was going to keep them for myself, <laughs> but I thought it'd be more romantic to give it to you, my love. Aww. Yes, madam. Yay. Jesus, you, queen. Thank you. Yes, you are beautiful. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh my God. They look like they look like God took his paintbrush and went. Ooh. On like, white roses. Yeah, what what do we do? Like get back romantic? Yeah, and... so we decided on a weekly basis we need to do something that is like just for our relationship. Yeah. And we're not gonna film each one, but because for the purpose of describing to you like the things that we're doing to like bring the fire back into our relationship, we're mm -hmm. filming this one. We're not gonna film the entire thing, but we wanted to like, you know, give you some vibes and some ideas for your relationships because I noticed that a lot of the people who, you know, uh, are subscribed to us, a lot of the needs again, you guys are also in relationships. So every relationship hits it, it's like, you know, like, I don't know, what would you call that? It's bumps in the road? Yeah, I would say bumps in the road to where it's like, okay, this has been a long journey and we need to spice it up more. Yeah, you know what I'm we've saying? been together for a minute now. We're not just in the honeymoon stage. Yeah. So we've come across things that we need to work on and we need to um, do different things for. But one of the things that we notice is like, we need to take more time for us. So this was a fun idea and let's see what we have. So we have some turkey. We oh have, yeah, I'm getting that right now. <laughs> we have salmon. I'm getting that turkey right now. Wait, I want to take a video. Oh man, I'm getting back. the turkey. No, put it by. Oh, you influencer, no. Yes. Oh my gosh, see what I gotta go through. This is influencers. <laughs> I can't date influencers anymore. Uh, anymore. Uh, huh? Anymore. Uh, I love you. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. What is hitting? He threw a charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. <laughs> okay. Wow. What? Only you would make a charcuterie board. You got home. Charcuterie. Um, guys. So, even though we have this little romantic thing going on, we actually have a fun activity. But maybe yes. you should try at home too. Um, go ahead. Okay. Well, this is gonna help us spice up our relationship and make mm -hmm. sure hold us to like having dates and stuff like yep. that and yep. not just always working together. Um, so popsicle sticks. Got popsicle sticks. Yep. We got and plain ones and rainbow ones because it's pride. I know it's pride. So we gotta, oh. We're gonna write different date night ideas on each popsicle stick mm -hmm. and they're gonna be color coded. So we'll do like, you know, outdoor activities. We'll do like things where you have to spend money, types of date ideas that we can do at home. And mm. every week we're gonna choose a day that every week we're gonna pull a popsicle stick out and we're gonna do that activity that day. So yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah. To try this at home, we're gonna write some stuff right now, guys, and like show Put you it all in this. A jar, yep. And then we'll pull one once a week. Yep, I'll okay. get it. So I got this idea off Pinterest, y'all. Yeah, Pinterest. Shout out to Pinterest. <clears throat> right. Pinterest is the place to get all kinds of great ideas. Especially date night stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, especially all kinds of stuff, honestly. Yeah. Even decor inspiration for your house. Yeah. Y'all saw if y'all didn't see that video of how I came up with how we were gonna decorate yeah. on Pinterest, go watch it. It's on my channel. Here's a stack for you. Stack for me. This is a lot of activities for the week. No, that's not for it's like for the year. You do oh, one God. activity a week. Got you. Okay. They're falling apart. They're uncoordinated now. All right. Uh, so, the orange are with the blues. Ah. And you know what it's good for? Like you'll trust me, you'll like it. You know, every week we'll be like, what do we feel like doing tonight? Okay. And if we, cause uh, what if we feel like staying in? We're not yeah. gonna. And we pick one that meet that's go hiking. Mm -hmm. Like that. You know what I'm saying? So do we put our names on it? Like this is easy jar or Natalie jar? No. And like you pick one, I pick one. That'd be cool. Like, oh, let's pick one out of my jar this time. And then let's pick one out of your jar. Let's just do one jar. Okay, one jar. And we're gonna ride on these and then show you guys. Guys, tell us some good date night ideas below because we have so many popsicle sticks. If you know, by
by the time we post this, we could add more to the jar. We're gonna do outdoor, indoor, um, and indoor, floor. on the floor. Something that <laughs> costs money. Yes. And free D. I think that's. And then what? Okay, easy gang. So we finished. You want to read some of them that we came up with, baby? Yes. Okay. All right. So we came up with a lot. Uh, Nat definitely threw a lot of my sticks away because she didn't like some and she said my handwriting was sloppy. It wasn't a lot, it was a few. I put four ruling and she said no to that. But she knows I don't like four ruling. Like these are date night ideas, so it has to be things we both want to do. Okay. okay. All right, give them the good okay. ones. Give them the good ones. Okay, what we got we so far? Have one would be to make dinner together at home. Ooh, y'all know I like to cook on our grill. We have go see a movie. Ooh, to give us spend a little money. Give us a little spicy one. What you got? Well, spicy? I don't know. Wifey? Um, uh, something we don't do. Oh, we have outside movie night with a projector. Oh yeah, we have a projector from the from our birthday party. I remember that, right? Yep. We have go get a massage. Yeah. We have shopping spree. Shopping. I wrote that one. Shopping. I wrote that. Yeah. Uh, one, one more. One more. A good, good one. We've watched a Starbucks with the boys. I said a good, good one. I don't know. The fire one. Yeah, you choose. Okay, let me choose. I'll just I'll just grab one like as if I'm actually choosing one for the day. All right, in the house. Meditate. Oh, I wrote this too. Yeah. Meditate. Meditate. Yeah. Oh, this is mine. Yeah. She just rewrote it because my handwriting. So these are the ideas that we have. We're gonna probably write some more. We have a lot more too, and uh, I'm super excited this for this relationship. Fun. Yeah. yeah. Super cool. Come here. I'm gonna love you. Um, there's a lot of things that you could do for your relationship. We're actually going to do therapy. We're gonna do therapy. We've already tried therapy, but we're gonna do therapy with one of our good friends. It's a sexologist. Sexologist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so we were like, you know what, maybe we should go see her, have a little conversation, yeah. just get some advice and stuff. So we're just gonna try different things to try to keep our relationship on a healthy place. And I, I think that is a, such a good sign that we're mm -hmm. willing to do that because I mean, yeah. At least we know we're aware of the things that we need to work on and yeah and we're not just expecting our relationship to just stay good forever yeah that's not realistic everyone's going to have their problems they need to work through and have their moments where they need to like spice it up and yeah. things like that so this is a great idea if you guys have any other ideas of things that you would like us to try and film us trying uh comment below give us some really cool date ideas or date ideas. things that could help us work on our relationship. We love you, Nizi Gang. Make sure you like it, subscribe, comment, please, comment, comment, comment.